everyone. I'm Clint. I'm a recent graduate of Dev Codes Camp Software Development Program. And today I'm really excited to show you guys a little demonstration of an app I created. It's called Kidney Cat. Uh, just to give you guys a quick little background on why I created this app. Um, at any given year in the United States, there are about 37 million people that suffer from chronic kidney disease. And my dad is one of those people. And he goes to dialysis about three, four times a week. Uh, if you aren't familiar with dialysis, dialysis is a treatment um, that you get when you go to a medical facilities because your kidneys um, have failed you. So they hook you up to a machine and this machine is like an artificial kidney and actually filters out the toxic waste and excess fluid um, from your body. Um, the reason why I decided to make this app is because my dad, along with other chronic kidney disease patients, they can find it difficult when it's time for them to travel. They got to jump through a lot of medical hoops and a list of Medicare approved facilities aren't readily available for them. Um, so I wanted to solve that problem, and I think I accomplished that, as you'll see later. Um, the technologies I used in this app are Python, uh, Flask, HTML, CSS. Um, for the email, I use SendGrid API, and for uh, Google Maps, I use the Google Maps API. As for my database, I use PostgreSQL, and to be honest, PostgreSQL was probably the biggest challenge in this app. Um, one, because I was dealing with such a large data set, um, so I found a neat management tool called PG Admin 4, and it was able to help me visualize the relationship between the tables and uh, really help me plan out my entity relationship diagram a little bit better. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to minimize myself and we're going to get into Kidney Cat and I'm going to show you how it works. All right, here's the home page. As you can see on the home page, find any Medicare approved dialysis facility, um, a neat little logo I created a sign up button, a search, and I even got a spot for you to log in um, if you already have an account. Uh, the color green that you see, I didn't just pick it because I liked it. That color green is actually on the same color as the kidney awareness ribbon. So I thought that was a neat touch to add to the app. So we're going to go ahead and create a brand new account. I'm a huge space fan. So I'm going to create a name with something to do with space. Let's say NASA. How about that? NASA 2021. That's my username. And you put in your name, uh, last name, and a quick email address. And then also I make a quick password for the demonstration. All right, I go ahead and create an account. It saves my information to the database and I can click back here to log in. So we're gonna log in with my user account and my password. And as soon as you log in, as you can see, it takes you to a neat little dashboard. Welcome back, followed by my name. Um, it, the message below just reminds you what this app is. You can click right there to start a search and find any Medicare approved facility. Um, up at the top of the nav bar, um, Kidney Cat here takes you back to the home page. You can invite a friend. And if you look on the far right, that's where you will log out of the app. Um, on this row, we have three different columns, uh, appointment reminder, uh, favorite facilities and kidney foods. And as we go through the app, I'll show you um, the functionality of those different sections. So for right now, let's just begin to search and find a facility. All right, you can search here by just state or city and state. Um, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm just gonna search by state. Um, I'm gonna choose Alabama, it's just at the top of the list, makes it easy. All right, and if you click the drop down, this is a list of actually every Dallas's facility that's Medicare approved in Alabama. Um, again, we're just going to stick with keeping it simple and uh, keep this facility there. You have a drop down or you can select yes or no if you want to add it as a favorite. You want to add it to a favorite so later on you can see it on our favorites list. And then we're going to click get facility details. Give time for the map to load. As you can see, it loads a Google map, um, has the location of the facility. And down here, we get a nice little table that's mobile responsive and you can scroll. And it has all the information that you would need about a dialysis facility, um, the number of stations or seats, and the types of dialysis that they offer. Because some offer one and some don't. So that's pretty neat to know. And again, we added this as a favorite. So you never have to worry about searching for this again. And I'm going to show you that it's on our favorites list. So we're going to go back to the home page. And then we're going to go into favorites column and view favorites. And as you can see, the DeVita Walker County Dialysis Facility has been added to our favorites from earlier. Click View Facility Info, and it takes you back to the same page. It's just something neat. If you go out of town or go to a city that you really like or get some exceptional service at a facility as a chronic uh, kidney disease patient, 
you can save that um, and go back to it another time. So I thought that was a neat touch. Also, they have appointment reminder column. Um, you can view appointments, add appointments, and send reminders. I'm going to click on view appointments just to show you how it works. Currently, we have no appointments, so let's add one. We're going to call this one Trip to the Moon, just to stick with the space theme. Um, doctor's name, we go with NASA, and we're just going to use today's date and a random time. No, I keep the PM, that's fine. And reason for visit, uh, space. <laughs> Add appointment, and it lets you know your appointment has been added. So let's go back to the home page and see if our appointment has been added. View appointments, and as you see, it's been added the date, the time, the doctor name, the appointment name, and the reason. Um, so that's neat. So if you go up to the uh, clinic and you go up to the front desk and they give you some information or appointment, not only, you know, can they send you an email, you can also add this in the app. I wanted it kind of be a one stop shop for you um, and keep everything in one location. Also, we have the ability to send a reminder and this reminder can be anything, just a note um, a doctor might give you like, hey, you know, you're not supposed to drink any liquids in the next 12 hours before your appointment, things like that. I thought it'd be helpful why it's on your mind before you forget. Hey, let me send myself a quick reminder, email, you know, et cetera. So, yep, I created an email account that we can test this out with. Uh, subject, just so we can uh, differentiate, I'm just going to call this a reminder. And, hey, don't forget this. All right, send email reminder. Your email has been sent. And we'll go over to Gmail, and we should be able to see that email. And as stated, we can see the email and there's the message. Hey, don't forget this. So I'm going to go back into the app, go back to the home page. Another email feature that I mentioned earlier, you can also invite a friend to the app. So I thought that's pretty neat. We're going to use that same email address and we're going to put invite this time. And hey, you join this app. Invite friends to app. I'm going to go over to Gmail just came through hey you join this app so it's neat um you can kind of be a community and you can invite others uh, to join the app so i thought that's pretty cool click back home and last but not least we have the kidney food section um i thought this would be a neat touch to add uh, my dad he really liked it uh, a couple of his friends liked it as well you can add the kidney kitchen curated list of food as it says and it has a list of foods based on what stage of kidney disease you're in so if you click on it, it actually takes you to the kidney kitchen. It's a neat little site. And as you can see down here, you can get recipes and foods and even grocery lists um, based on what stage of chronic kidney disease you're in. I really like it. I thought that was a neat touch. However, for future iterations of my project, that's one area I can improve. Um, I really don't want the people to leave the app so I can find a way to add that inside of my app so they never have to leave kidney cat. Um, but that's the app uh, in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I'm going to go ahead and log out. Um, please feel free to reach out to me, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching. That's Kidney Cat.